Hey, boys and girls, this is Mr. Bell, Mr. Bell's Math. Uh, we're, today we're going to talk about representing algebraic relationships in tables and graphs. Our essential question, or what I want you to know by the end of the video, is how can you use verbal descriptions, tables, and graphs to represent algebraic relationships? All right, so let's get started. First thing we want to talk about is uh, just kind of a comparison between two different situations. We have uh, Angie's walking speed is 5 kilometers per hour and May's is 4 kilometers per hour. Show how the distance each girl walks is related to time. Okay, so, so the, the thing that we want to learn here is that um, time, all right, is our, our independent variable. But the girl's distance is directly related to how long they walk. Okay, so that this is the the, in, the dependent variable. All right, so if we wanted to talk about it in terms of x and y, all right, the time is x and the distance is y. Time is x, distance is y. All right, so now we just need to go ahead and fill out the table. Um, it says Angie's time. We have, and the, what you need to remember is that you got to compare your x value to your y value. Something's happening to x to become y. All right, here. It's going from zero to zero. So that's that's what it tells me is that I'm multiplying. Okay, because if I multiply a number times zero, I'm gonna get zero. Alright, but let's check it and see real quick. So my second a to y value is one to five. So if I'm if the only thing I can multiply one by to get five is is five. So if I can do the same thing over here, then that's probably my relationship. If I can multiply this x value times five and get the y value which is 10 which is a true statement then that's my relationship so then I need to figure out what happens when the hours are 3 and the hours are 4 well if I multiply times 5 like I said then my 3 value is 15 and then if I multiply 4 times 5 I get 20 so what this tells me is that when my when I haven't started yet when my hours are 0 I haven't walked any distance at the end of the first hour I've walked 5 kilometers at the end of the second hour I've walked 10 kilometers at the end of the third hour, I've walked 15 kilometers. And at the end of the fourth hour, I've walked 20 kilometers. So this way we can come up with a relationship. We're saying that, that for every, every value, we're saying y equals um, x times 5. Okay? So it doesn't matter what the value of x is. x could be 50. We don't care. Uh, if she walked for 50 hours straight, though, we, we know that we just multiply 50 times 5 and we get 250. Is that even right? 50 times 5? Yeah, 250. So um, we know she went 250 miles, or kilometers, not miles. All right, so let's talk about um, May real quick. Same thing here. She's got a zero to zero relationship, so that means I'm going to be multiplying. All right, if my time is zero, my distance is zero. If my time is one, my distance is four. If my time is 2, my distance is 8. Looks like I'm multiplying by 4. So that means when I say my time is 3, my distance is going to be 12. When my time is 4, my distance is going to be 16. So that tells me that y equals 4 times whatever value x is. All right. So now we can take all these numbers and we can graph them. So let's go back to blue for, um, for Angie. And our first point is going to be down here at 0, 0. Because that's what, that's what this is. My next one is 1, 5. So I go over to 1 and up to 5, and there's my point. And then I go over to 2 and up to 10, which is right here. Over to 3, up to 15, which is right here. Over to 4 and up to 20, which is right here. All right, and then I draw my line, and that's my line. And it didn't touch that last point because I just drew it crooked. All right, so her equation we already drew over here, y equals 5 times whatever x is. All right, let's change to red and talk about May. Her order pairs, 0, 0, 1, 4. So that's the first point. 2, 8, that's the second point. 3, 12, that's the third point. And then 4, 16. And it really doesn't matter what these points are. The, this line tells me that wherever, I could put a point here, and it'll give me a solution to this equation here that we wrote. Okay, if I put a point at, one and a half, it should, it's, my answer should be, um, it's at six. Okay. So, and you can plug it in and tell. All right. So my equation is y equals four times x, whatever x is. All right. 
So the next one says writing an equation from a graph. It says Charisse pays the entrance fee to visit a museum and doesn't tell us how much, then buys souvenirs at the gift shop. The graph shows a relationship between the total amount she spends at the museum and the amount she spends at the gift shop. All right, write an equation to represent the relationship. So in this particular situation, if she doesn't spend any at the gift shop, she only spends $5 total. So that tells me that she spent $5 to get into the museum. If she spends $5 in the, in the gift shop, she spends $10 total. So that means I've added five, all right? Because I, if I multiply times two, that means I would have to multiply this times two as well to get five. And I know if I multiply anything times zero, it's going to be zero. So it has to be an additive relationship, all right? So here, if she spends $10, I got to add 5 to it and that gives me a total of 15. If she spends 15, that means I add 5 to it and I get a total of 20. All right? So the pattern of the table is that I'm adding $5 each time. Or I can say for for every um for every for every amount that she spends at the gift shop, she adds she spends she adds five dollars to it because that's the total cost that um, she spent at the, uh, at the to get in. All right, so like if this was if this was um, two, I can add five to it, and her total amount was seven. So it really doesn't matter what what the values are. If we add five to the to the total or to the amount spent at the gift shop, that'll give me my total amount spent. So it says write an equation that represents the total amount spent. Why? in terms of the amount spent at the gift shop. So if the total amount is Y, then we take the amount spent at the gift shop and we add five to it, and that gives us our total spent for the day. All right. So the next one says graphing an equation, an ordered pair XY that makes an equation like Y equals X plus one true is called a solution of an equation. And that's important. You probably should remember that. The graph of an equation represents all the ordered pairs that are solutions. Okay, so here we got the equation uh, y equals x plus 1. So probably the best way to do it is just to make a table of values. Okay, then you choose some values for x and use the equation to find the corresponding values for y. And I've already kind of shown this in class. So then you take those ordered pairs and you plot them uh, from the table. And then you draw a line through the plotted points to represent all the ordered pairs for the solution. Okay. So you, 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 when you draw your table of values, it looks like this. You take X and then you say Y equals X plus one. And then you have your Y values. And then like here, they just came up with one, two, three, four, five. I usually like to say zero, one, two, three. I want, I like four points. And then I plug my values in. I say zero plus one, one plus one. 2 plus 1, and then 3 plus 1. And I don't know if you saw that there, but what I'm doing is I'm taking this value, plugging it in for x. All right, 0. Here I'm plugging in 1 for x. Here I'm plugging in 2 for x, and then I'm plugging in 3 for x. What that allows me to do is in solve, 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. So now these are my ordered pairs. I have 0, 1. That's my first ordered pair. I have 1. 2, that's my next ordered pair. I have 2, 3, that's my next ordered pair. And then I have 3, 4, and that's my next ordered pair. All right, then we can go and look at the graph here and see that all these points are on that graph. Even though they didn't do this one on the um, in this table of values, it's still here. 0, 1, right there. 1, 2, that was my next one. 2, 3, that was the next one. And then 3, 4, that was my final one, okay? So that's all there is to finding out how to graph an equation. Let's look at one more. We got y equals 2 times x. So same thing. We got a table of values here. They came up with five places. They come up with the equation, and they rewrite it like 2x equals y, I guess because, well, they, they put in the, everything here. I like the way I do the table. Okay. I guess the only thing is you don't wind up with the ordered pairs like this. But my table would look something like this. I would write it um, x Oops, I'm drawing over me. Let's not try that. Uh, let's back up here a little bit. All right, maybe I'll just write it up here and say x, y. My equation is 2 times x. All right. And I come up with some values, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Then I say 2 times 0, 2 times 1, 2 times 2, and then 2 times 3. All right, 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6. 
All right, so my ordered pairs are 0, 0, 1, 2, 2, 4, and then finally 3, 6. All right, and that's what shows up here on the graph. I mean, if you look at it right here, all these points that I just plot, named are on the graph. 0, 0 is right there. All right, I got 1, 2. That's it. I got 2, 4. That's that one. And I got um, 3, 6. But then there's also 4, 8. And there's also 5 and 10. All those are points on this particular graph. All right. And that's all there is to it. <clears throat> so we're going to do one example on our own. And we're going to be in good shape. So let's draw the graph kind of the way I like it. And let's say our x value. This one's a little odd because it's got the 2.5 in there. But that's not really that big of a deal. So we're going to say x plus 2.5. All right. So I'm going to plug in some values, 0, 1, 2, and 3, and then plug it in, 0 plus 2.5, 1 plus 2.5, 2 plus 2.5, and then 3 plus 2.5. All right, 0 plus 2.5 is 2.5. 1 plus 2.5 is 3.5. Oops, 5. 2 plus 2.5 is 4.5. And then 3 plus 2.5 is 5.5. So those are my ordered pairs. I got 0, 2.5. I have 1, 3.5. I have 2, 4.5. And then I have 3, 5.5. All right. Then I plot it. All right. 0, 2.5. So 0, 2.5 is right around there. All right. It's kind of hard to see. 1, 3.5, so I go over 1, and then I go up 3.5, which is right here. Then I have 2, 4.5, is right here. All right, then I have 3, 5.5, so 3, and then 5.5 is right there. And then I draw a line to connect it, and it just keeps going. It actually keeps going this way, too into quadrant two and then down on into quadrant um, three but that's it that's all there is to graphing a line okay make sure you answer the questions and be ready to do the independent practice in class thank you